You're watching Northwest Florida's news station. This is Channel 3 News at 10. Good evening. Thank you for joining us tonight. Starting with a face mask that kills bacteria and viruses like the coronavirus. Well, that's what one manufacturing company with its largest plant right here in Cantonment says they have created. Channel 3's Renee Bettinati joins us with more on this product from Ascend Performance Materials. Renee? Bob, the company says that their masks are a lot more effective than your average surgical mask like this one. Tonight, I talked to the company's CEO to find out why. There is uh, nothing else like this on the market. CEO of Ascend Performance Materials, Phil McDivitt, says in the past, his company has produced antimicrobial fabric used in products like athletic gear. Now it's being used in masks to fight COVID-19. We think it can, it can be a, uh, tr make a tremendously positive impact. McDivitt tells me their active material kills 99% of viruses, including the coronavirus. The product has active zinc in it that destroys viruses and bacteria. It's being used in three masks they've developed, which the company says are more effective than those on the market right now. So it's gonna be completely different than a general purpose mask or an N95 because those masks, the way they work is they're simply just trying to stop the virus. They don't actually do anything to deactivate the virus or kill the virus. McDivitt says the basic version of the mask that resembles surgical masks will cost several dollars. So this is a woven mask. So it's it's fabric. It's actually it actually has a filter on the inside. So and it, and it form fits your nose. The fabric masks that can be washed up to 50 times will be more expensive. Ascend is working with schools and universities to try to provide them to students and teachers in the fall. We're hopeful that our technology can play a part in helping to uh, restart our schools and restart the economy fully. McDivitt says their next step is getting approval from the Food and Drug Administration. This is brand new technology. So if you think about the testing that goes on there's not something that they go and pull off the shelf today and say, okay, this is this is how we test if this is true. So we actually are having to help them with kind of the testing protocol. McDivitt says that their masks are a lot lighter and more comfortable, which he hopes will encourage more people to wear them. Now, the FDA is still reviewing the product. He hopes that they will approve it within the next three weeks or so. Reporting live in Escambia County, Renee Beninati, Channel 3 News.